días, bienvenidos. Soy Sharon Reed, <coughs> profesora de español. Uh, este año enseño español 2 y español 4. Hi, my name is Sharon Reed. I am a Spanish teacher here at Haverford High School and I graduated from our Sinus College, got my Bachelor of Arts in Spanish and English. And I teach a certificate in both and I have a master's degree from Wilkes University in Education. This year I'm currently teaching Spanish 2 and Spanish 4. The Spanish 2 course is, is a uh, average level course for Spanish. The course itself is conducted as much as we can in Spanish. We learn a lot more vocabulary from Spanish 1. <coughs> the grammar would be involving regular present tense that we've been using, some, some verbs that stem change, some other verbs that have irregularities, and we also get into the past tense. It is uh, academically the prerequisite for that is you need to pass Spanish 1 or suggesting with a minimum of a C class. The students should, should, for my classes, should expect to have homework every night. Uh, some of the homework might be not written homework, but to study for a test or a quiz. Um, they should be expected to speak in Spanish in class, to do some group work, some group activities, some conversational parent activities, listening activities, um, <coughs> excuse me, um, and use the grammar, use the vocabulary, and things like that in class as well. There are projects, there are different there are varieties of what we do, and they also would have a vocabulary quiz and a test on each chapter. The chapters are divided into half, so you would have chapter 7, 7, 8, and 7. In my class, I grade on the weighted system. I am not grading on the point system. In my classes, I grade by 35% of your grade is your test grades, <coughs> and that would also include projects. 25% is your quiz grades, 20% is your homework, and 20% is class participation. I personally don't feel the course is difficult if you do your work, if you study your vocabulary, if you actually participate in class, I don't feel that it is difficult at all. Everyone has learned a language, and they can all learn a second language, but you have to work at it. The course meets every day for a semester. Test versus projects is kind of tricky because sometimes there is a test as well as a project. Uh, the project might be for the whole unit. The tests are half, I should say, there's a, like a, for example, a 6A, 6B, 7A, 7B, 8A, 8B. Um, so there might be two tests per unit, but the project might be an overall project for that unit. In Spanish too, I think the best one I assign is the one where you describe your ideal house. That ideal house could have anything and everything that you think might be really neat to have in a house. Because it's not a real house, it could have uh, a swimming pool on the roof, it could have a tennis court in the basement, it could have um, a bowling alley if you want, it could have a full movie theater, it could have whatever you think would be fun to have in a house, a full entertainment system or you know, music in every room or whatever you have to want. Um, it can be done individually or it can be done with a partner. I just explained a little bit about Spanish 2, which is another course I'm currently teaching. The Spanish 4 obviously has some differences between Spanish 2 in that you have prerequisites of successfully passing Spanish 2 and Spanish 3. In Spanish 4, we basically get a lot more tenses. We can speak more in the past in, uh, and distinguish between certain types of past tenses we will get into the subjunctive, subjunctive tense, which is not used much at all in English. Um, Spanish 4 is conducted almost primarily in Spanish, um, with exception for, for, my, for my part, explaining grammar. I prefer to explain the grammar in English so that it is understood quickly, and then we can move on to actually using it. Um, one of the projects I really like in Spanish 4 is at the end of the book, which is what we finish in Spanish 4, um, there is a unit on the environment, and that unit, <coughs> I ask people to do a project involving the environment, and it can be anything from saving animals, like and, and impersonating Steve Irwin, or doing something with the Amazon rainforest, and that is usually a very interesting thing. They've done a game show format, all sorts of other really fun stuff. 